All right, I'm finally back for another video. I know it's been a while. So today, and I guess the past week or and a half or two weeks, Dad's been working on the tender truck. And then when I'm home on the weekends, I help when I can. So I guess we'll just go through it because it's been kind of a long process, but it's been a good one. So here it is. We'll get you some better lighting here. But this is a, oh, consider it an 07, I believe. But it's a 4400 International straight truck, single axle. Uh, the truck came out of Illinois, and our stainless tank came out of almost Kentucky, very, very, very far south, Indiana. But put these two together and we've done a lot of plumbing painting fixing everything in the middle but um, the truck actually started out as a 376 inch wheelbase truck and what we did is we slid the axle forward I can't remember how many inches but regardless whatever this would be but I it's a uh, 178 now so really when the uh, these six holes were the front spring shackle that's here now and so we slid everything forward we used a mag drill on that kind of wish I took videos of that stuff but we used a mag drill and then we cut off the rest of the frame here and that is actually out here that was the rear bumper and had a hitch on it this and that but it just really wasn't what we needed and so we cut it off there for the meantime because when we do second pass on beans we have to have our tote back here to mix in because they don't do that at the uh, elevator so which Pretty much all of our loads are hot loads a lot nicer to have 1600 gallon instead of a thousand gallon tender trailer so i think we're kind of excited about that but that's where we're at right now we're just filling it with a garden hose because we want to get it well see it's i guess it's above there we want to get like 300 gallons into it and then mix it all up and make sure the tank's clean and once we know it's clean then we can really wrap it up and mostly officially be ready for burn down so that's where we're at and I will try to implement some pictures that I took along the way into the video I don't know if I can do it in stages or if I'll do have to do it all at the end, but I'll try to do that because it should be a good kind of a slideshow deal. But yep, that's where we're at, and that's how it goes. So we got what? No, 200 gallons in it. It's slightly downhill towards the front, so what? 225 gallons or so. But that's where we're at, and. I think we're doing okay.
guess I'll show you the tender truck. We're over at the farm now. Dad's spraying across the ditch. And so here's kind of a wrap up video of it. I got the drone. Probably take it up in the air here in a couple minutes. But two inch pump plumbed with a sparge line. Uh, Dad put air to it so we can flush out the hose so it's a lot lighter and less of a mess. 1600 gallon tank. This is what we used to use. 1000 gallon poly. But this one just was a lot better. Seems a lot better anyhow, I guess. A lot easier. Uh, Dad made this uh, kind of a I don't know, tote holder, really. Well, on second pass on beans, he puts a tote here, has an electric pump, and then we'll plumb it into the tank because it's a, uh, a different foliar feed. It's a foliar feed that he puts in the tote. And they have to mix it when you get to the field. So that's what it is. The truck is a 2007, I think. DT-466 and automatic transmission. It's been a pretty good truck so far. Really haven't done much. This is actually the first load of chemical. We had one load of water before this. And I don't know how much is in it left, but Dad took, oh, 500 gallon with him to go do that field. So there's still mm, five eh, six hundred in there so that's what it is it's a good truck so far and it seems awfully handy so dad made this bracket for the pump really everything dad dad made all that stuff there's a, a bracket here he made that holds onto this supports it Move the axle up. I don't remember how many inches. Uh, yeah, so that's just for the tote. So that's that's why that's there. But I'm gonna put the drone up. We'll see what we can do. See how far we can make it.